Um, the fastest way to load your iBook onto your iPad is right from the iBook author software and uh, just as preview and it looks like a little iPad right here and you just open that up and uh, it says right here to preview your book connect an iPad to your computer and open iBooks select your iPad and device list and click preview now I'm going to show you the other method by loading it up through iTunes and uh, the reason I'm going to do that because that is I want to show you the different book formats you can use with iAuthor software and also you can use the iTunes method if you receive an iBook from other people or on the internet how to do it through iTunes so I'm going to actually go through that more in depth Um, I'm going to show you how, uh, guys, something on this um, iBooks author. There's some, be uh, there's some people saying that um, you can't, um, you know, put it in a format outside the iTunes store, uh, even if it's a free version. You know, you supposedly you have to publish it to the iTunes iBook store, and you don't have to. You can actually, um, once you get done with your book, you can save it. To your computer and then you can drag it into your own iPad or you can uh, as long as it's free you can give it to anybody else and they can do the same thing and uh, I'm kind of going to show you that in a little bit what the iBook 2 looks like once you uh, load it up on the iPad as well so stay tuned for that so here I got it loaded up already uh, the book that I uh, started on and uh, now, if you push to publish, uh, some people reported that it won't publish up to the iTunes store, that instead it'll download it to your, it'll just put it in your computer. Uh, now, perhaps you got to uh, make an account first, even the free one you have to, and then obviously if you're going to sell paid books, then you, there's some more stuff you have to do, so maybe that's why. So instead of pushing publish, you're not going to do that, or, you know, preview, which you could, um, just go to share. S export and it gives you three different uh, formats you can do iBooks uh, format that you got to um, put on the iPad uh, PDF files and there's a, there's a few selections as well it looks like uh, looks like you can put a password as well and just regular text I'm gonna go ahead and choose iBooks And you can uh, name the book whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to export that in documents. There's one already uh, there named by that, so I'm going to replace it because this is a new version. Uh, updated one. Okay, I went ahead and put it in uh, some of my document folder. We're going to bring that out. And uh, there it is in the bottom. Uh, show time right here is the... Uh, the project file that I'm uh, still working on and then obviously the uh, Showtime's book which is finished the format you can actually read and we're actually going to put that um, to load it up on your um, on your iPad I already actually got it connected uh, which is down here and I've got some iBooks already loaded um, you go to your iTunes, um, your library, okay, not the iPad itself, your uh, books section. Uh, as you see, I got a couple of books loaded already. I'm just going to drag that in there. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see if uh, this will work. No. I guess you got you have to dra uh, drag it into the uh, uh, iBooks of your library in the iTunes. Okay, that's done. Now, um, you should be able to drag it right into your uh, your iPad, which I have connected right now, right here. Oh, I just missed it there. So you just drag that in there. And uh, we're showing right here. Now, um, I believe you do have to sync that to be able to go to your load it uh, up on your iPad 
And it uh, didn't take long because it's a fairly um, short book. Uh, I'm still working on it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, show, I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, on the iPad itself. Okay, we have the my uh, iBook loaded onto my iPad 2. And we're going to go to the iBooks uh, section, of course. If you look in the upper left-hand side, you'll see a um, my book, Showtime. It says new. That's the one that I just loaded in iTunes. And we're going to click on that. That's going to bring it up. And it looks something like this. Now, you can, uh, it's still kind of plain. It's only really got a couple, uh, two chapters right now. Uh, I have a couple of uh, pictures in here. And obviously you just uh, click on that. It'll bring it up. And uh, display it and it's kind of got some unique features you can uh, move it around it's interactive or you can just choose the uh, pages that way or you just can begin at the beginning and just scroll all the way through obviously and uh, uh, just like that now I'm gonna also show you some features And let me see, uh, library. Okay, this one's your uh, notebook. You can highlight things right here. And uh, that's well, actually, let me go and show you a page first. We're just going to go to the regular text and uh, as you can see, you can highlight just by um, putting your hand on it and leaving it there uh, just like so. And if you uh, click it on once, you can change the color. You got um, five colors uh, from the beginning all the way to the left to the right. Um, you have a, a circle with a red slash to it if you just want to get rid of the highlights. And then you can uh, put a notes on it too. And uh, let me and we can choose highlights as well. Notes, search, uh, define. Uh, we can put a note. Yeah, just like so. And uh, then we, when we go to the uh, notes section, it should uh, be right there, the uh, highlighted section. Let me see, study cards I haven't really done. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. So you can see I'm still learning myself uh, some of the, uh, the features on here. And uh, I'm probably just going to remove it because I don't really need uh, any of that. And I think there might be some more things in here. Obviously, you can. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and highlight it again. And I didn't mean to do that. Um, now, I don't know if this had it in the regular books or not, iBooks, before the iBooks 2 came out, but it's actually uh, kind of interactive. You can. Uh, put, um, um, you know, like dictionary terms and stuff. You want to look at certain words. Uh, uh, you can do a web search in uh, search Wikipedia, so you might can get some more definitions or uh, things like that is very useful. And I think that is about... Obviously, you can uh, search. That's probably one of the greatest features of uh, iBooks or e-book e type format is you can search through everything. Uh, makes it a lot easier and faster. And then obviously uh, bookmarks. Okay, that was kind of a uh, rundown of um, iBooks author uh, putting your book on your uh, iPad and a little bit about the new iBook f f uh, 2 format. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it.